We would like to know what is the first impression of Sister Jarina during her stay here with us, especially the uh, celebration of our 90 years in Indonesia. First of all, I, Linda, thank you very much for inviting me for this interview. I think uh, possibly I feel that I am privileged to be part of the entire universal family. That is, we in uh, FMM language we call big family. You know? Big body means the universal, the institute. I feel that God has really blessed all of us and very especially the uh, FMMs of Indonesia. It's 90 years means a lot to us. It's a celebration of thanksgiving. I feel it's a celebration of thanksgiving to God for all that has been part of the province here. And province has a lot to offer to God in a gratitude what God has done for each one. For the many, many generations past here and still carrying on the charism of the Blessed Mary of the Passion. I feel that God has blessed us with a variety of sisters, variety of missions here in Sri Lanka, sorry, uh, in, in Indonesia. Uh, it is God who calls, it's not we. We are called by God and we, are, we continue to live that uh, mission that God has entrusted to us. So with you, I really took, took uh, time to prepare myself to come to the for the great celebration and my impression of that celebration is that it was well prepared well designed and also if i begin with the community the how the community was prepared the sisters the lay people i find a wonderful experience lay people being one with you even in your missions here in um, in your school here, from beginning from the kindergarten to the senior high school. And I think the sisters are the managers, sisters are the in management, and the lay people working for us and uh, with us. And I think it is a great witness. The people feel that we are really sharing our charism. Our charism of Blessed Mary of the Passion is not only for us. It is for the people to share, let the people experience with us here uh, that we are uh, a family, family of uh, every race, color and religion, you know. Anybody can come and join us and continue to experience of, uh, the, uh, the living experience of the Universal Mission with us and also the experience of um, thanksgiving to God. So the celebration really was very meaningful, very appropriate to the time and um, we really enjoyed that day. Um, we, four of us coming from different parts of uh, uh, from the world, especially our own region, but I feel that uh, God has really blessed us. Uh, in our Jonah chapter, the words we, we are recalling every time we are reliving it and that is uh, community is at the heart of change and I feel that here we feel that it is really is community is the community who is very much at the heart of change you are bringing people close to God people bringing sisters more closer to the people to the need and I think this is always going process is not static, it's, it's just living it. And I find the sisters here very enthusiastic. Their community living, I visited two places and I find it's so wonderful to see FMMs living uh, God's mission. It's not our mission, it's God's mission that um, the sisters are living together. And they're very more enthusiastic 
towards God and the people and very much sharing life. And I enjoyed your uh, Lord's and the Vespers in the evening and but also the Eucharist. Every day we had a Eucharist and that was every day I was just thanking God for all that He has given us for the last 90 years uh, to, the, to the FMM family in Indonesia. And uh, I really appreciate that God's gift uh, to each one here. Thank you, Sir Zarina. So we are happy also that you are enjoying staying with us here. Sister Zarina, as we are going to be one region, uh, the region of Trinity, so what uh, your message for us? Well, Linda, I feel that you are already living the spirit. The main thing is, it's not um, a standard, but the standard of as standard as FNM. My standard is that I am full of life with the Blessed Mary of the Passion and St. Francis and all our Franciscan saints. You know, we are sent to, to go to the world where Jesus is still least present. And I think and the sisters in Indonesia are living that spirit. Becoming a region, we are very blessed by the Lord. We are going to be the five countries like Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, Pakistan and Indonesia. I think this is a blessing. How we have been journeying, journeying together, but also journeyed together with each other. How we have been open to each other, to accept and to give and take. It, Linda, I honestly tell you, it is a challenge, really. If you see many other things like culture, the language, the finance, and uh, whether it's going to cause us and cost us something. But I think when we, when we go with some focus or some aim and goal, we don't mind what comes on the journey. So I'm happy to be part of um, Trinity Region. And uh, I think we are going to, by the grace of God and trusting God's love and mercy and compassionate love, that He's going to really bless us, bless us, bless us with, um, with abundance of blessings, but also the love and care of the sisters. And we are going to be very enriching Trinity region. We will be supporting one another, how we are going to live, what we are going to live, and how we have to, what we have to leave behind, what we have to take it with us on the journey. That's why he said in the beginning that um, the community is at the heart of change. Living together will make us love one another, but also to support one another on the journey. So the purpose of the Institute is to strengthen the aim and the goal of the Institute to, to live together. You know, even in a small uh, region, the number may be a small, but when we become strength for one another, I think we can do a lot. We can be scattered in our own provinces, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's difficult whether we, we keep on asking missionaries to come one, one place to another to strengthen us. But that is not the purpose. The purpose is strengthen the community living the prayer, prayerful uh, atmosphere to have a, um, a, very, a very meaningful living. So I think that, that we are looking forward, that we will be strength for the journey, strength for the journey to continue what God's, God has entrusted to each one of us. And that is my, my wish for Trinity Region, that we will, we will and we are supporting one another that one day after, by 1st November 2023, when we come together, we will be a sign and symbol of love, joy, peace and happiness for everyone. Thank you, Linda. That is the word of encouragement for us, sister. We believe that God is going to be us during our journey toward the region of Trinity. So thank you, sister, for your welcome. Your uh, willingness to be with us here for interview. Uh, uh, as you are going to go back to Pakistan, so we wish you a safe journey. 
uh, when you reach to Pakistan. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. And also, I wish every sister uh, a very fruitful mission and uh, keep it up your spirit of loving and caring hospitality. Thank you. God bless.